Hello and welcome to the Computer Next channel on YouTube. I'm Shantan Kaushik and I am Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. We'll be discussing today about the basic differences between Windows 7 32-bit and 64-bit. We'll also be discussing about various compatibility issues and uh, Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor and the Windows 7 Compatibility Center. So what is the basic difference between a 32-bit and a 64-bit Windows? Actually, the main difference is between the processors or uh, it is a commonly known as CPU architecture. 64-bit processors can handle multiple tasks more efficiently, which is better known as multitasking. How? It's very simple. Because a 64-bit Windows can utilize more RAM than a 32-bit version. A 64-bit uh, operating system can only be run on a 64-bit capable processor, while a 64-bit capable processor can also run a 32-bit version of Windows. Though a 64-bit version of Windows can be installed on a much lesser RAM, uh, say 1.5 GB or 2 GB or even 1 GB, but it is always recommended to use a 64-bit operating system when you are using more than 4 GB of RAM uh, because it can very well handle that amount of RAM. And if you are running a system which is uh, having a low RAM count, then it is recommended that you go in for a 32-bit version. So if you want to know what version of Windows you are running right now and whether it is a 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit operating system, uh, you just have to go to control panel, uh, click on all control panel items and then click on system. There under system type you can see clearly mentioned that uh, it is a 64-bit operating system that I am running. It will be very clear to you whether you are running a 64-bit or a 32-bit operating system by just looking at this window. So let's say you want to install a Windows 7 64-bit edition on your computer system but you aren't sure whether it is a 64-bit capable processor or not. So how do you know? How do you make sure that you can in indeed install a Windows 7 64-bit operating system? For that you go to control panel, you click on all control panel items and you click on performance information and tools. A page like uh, the current screenshot on your screen will open up. There on uh, the uh, right uh, bottom corner, you'll see view and print detailed performance and system information. Click on it. When you click on it under system type, you will clearly see whether your uh, processor is 64-bit capable or not. When upgrading from the current version of Windows to the next version of Windows, it is always recommended to make sure that all your programs and your settings will run on the next version of Windows. For that, Microsoft has a Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. So the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor is used to see if your PC is ready for Windows 7. You can go to the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor website and download uh, it for free. So, if your PC can uh, run Windows 7, you will know each and every part of it if a program or a current hardware isn't uh, very much compatible with Windows 7, uh, you will see in that uh, report generated by the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. Whenever you are upgrading from uh, the current version to the next version of Windows, always make sure that uh, you can only upgrade from a 32-bit version of Windows to a 32-bit version of Windows. Say you can only upgrade from a 32-bit version of Windows Vista to a 32-bit version of Windows 7. And in the similar way, you can only upgrade from a 64-bit version of Windows Vista to a 64-bit version of Windows 7. You can never upgrade directly from a 32-bit version of uh, Windows to a 64-bit version of Windows. Uh, you have to ma manually back up all your files and settings before you uh, go from a 32-bit version of OS to a 64-bit version of OS. And uh, even the Windows Easy Transfer Wizard cannot help you out in this matter. While most programs designed for the 32-bit version of Windows will work on the 64-bit version of Windows with few exceptions. but if you want to uh, find programs and devices that work with Windows 7, you have to look for the product that displays the compatible with Windows 7 logo. That means that they have been tested to be compatible with both the 32-bit and 64-bit version of Windows. 
You can also go online on the Windows 7 Compatibility Center and check to see whether the program or device is compatible with 64-bit version of Windows or not. Same goes with the hardware and so software manufacturer's website. You can also check whether the hardware or software that you intend to use on Windows 7 is compatible with both Windows 7 32-bit and 64-bit OS. There's one more thing. If you are going to install a 64-bit version of Windows, you have to have the 64-bit device drivers. All hardware device drivers that you want to run on the 64-bit version of Windows will need new drivers. For that, you have to go to the uh, to the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor and check whether uh, the device that you are using currently will run on the Windows 7 64-bit uh, bit version or not. Or you can go to the manufacturer's website and uh, check out whether the new drivers for 64-bit version of Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it or you have any any questions or comments regarding this video, you can email it to me on info at the rate of the computer next .com. Thank you.